Hello, welcome back to Quilt and Color. Today we're going to be working on a mystery box here for our 15 minutes to quilt. There's a box that's nicely packaged over here. It says BOM and Scraps. So let's open the package and see what we've got today. Let's open our mystery box. That looks like a present. And it says BOM and Scraps. And in here looks like there's some block of the month blocks, a bunch of them and a bunch of scraps. There's no note. And there's no name of the pattern. A bunch of random papers from other places. Okay, so let's look at the blocks. See what they look like. It's a nice lime green one. Another one, purple and green. There's a blue one and green, purple and green. Lots of different colors on this one. This one needs some ironing again. Let me count these real quick. There's 15, so it's more than 12. I don't know if it's accurate, but what I remember about this quilt is that there was an applique part of it also. I kind of vaguely remember strips of color. Yeah, I guess I do. I see some blue strips here. So I, I think I remember like blue strips uh, sewed together as a background and then something is appliqued on top of it and then the blocks go around it. I also vaguely remember this as a pattern that was in a book, but I don't know if that's true or not. The fact that it says BOM on the box means that maybe it isn't. Maybe I did find it someplace online, but I kind of remember a book that came as a part of this. So I'm going to, I guess today we get to look through some books to see if maybe I can find the book that goes with this pattern. So that we don't go on a wild goose chase looking for a book that doesn't exist. I went through my blog, looked for BOMs, block of the months, batik, all sorts of things. I couldn't find it. But then finally I remembered the word wildflower. And I looked up the word wildflower on my blog and yes, this is a book. It's called Wildflower Sampler. So now we are looking for a book called Wildflower Sampler by Linda Milligan. I'm gonna set the timer and we're just gonna look for 15 minutes. You get to look at my books and hopefully we'll find it here. So let's get started. I moved some furniture to make some room for the camera. So if you see any dust bunnies or actual bunnies, you'll have to forgive me. So let's start over here. We have a pattern, crossroads. We've got wedding ring template. 501 quilting motifs, Better Homes and Gardens embroidery, folk art quilts, Big Book of Fat Quarter quilts, Community quilts. I hope these are not backwards for you. There's Architecture and Islamic Arts, American Patchwork and Quilting. Fanciful Folk Art, Liberated Medallion Quilts, Folk Art Quilts, The Fabrics of Fairy Tale. I think this is my oldest book, The Romance of the Patchwork Quilt, Simply Red Work, Cotton and Wool, Miss Jumps Farewell. 
app is for applique. Amish inspired quilts. The art of Botis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Modern Roots. Joyful Stitching. Weekend Quilting. Civil War Legacies 3. Beautiful Botanicals. And then there's some books here that are not quilt books. There's a couple patterns here, but we're looking for a book. So that doesn't count. Let's so on to the next shelf. We're in row two of these books now. We've got textiles of the Banhara. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that. Maybe Banjara. But there's Indian quilting here. Quick and easy quilt making. Fabric silhouettes, quilted treasures from the family album. Art quilt workbook. Stars a la carte. Quilt the Beloved Country. Boutiques and Beyond. Fuse and Tell Journal Quilts. Singer, the Quilting Bible. Judy Martin, the Ultimate Book of Quilt Block Patterns. Sets and Borders, Mindful Meandering, 132 Original Continuous Line Designs, Becky Goldsmith, Applique Outside the Lines, Pairing Up, Two Block Quilts, Stained Glass Quilts Made Easy, Quick watercolor quilts, quilters block bible, embroidery stitch bible, 60 machine quilting patterns, with fabric and thread. Helen's Copy and Use Quilting Patterns. I use this one a lot. Ribbon Embroidery. Quilt Maker's Guide Basics and Beyond. Sweet Clara and the Freedom Quilt. Elm Creek Quilts. There's a Rotary Cutter Basics and Beyond. A Gathered Garden by Carol Armstrong. Barbara Brackman, Facts and Fabrications Unraveling the History of Quilts and Slavery. Benny Harper Quilt Album. The Complete Stitch Directory. Japanese Kimono Dolls. No, it's not a quilting book. We're leaving it here. Christmas all through the house. Maybe I'll put this one up here. Okay. Learn to do ribbon embroidery in just one day. 
scrap oops scrap quilts the art of making do dancing dolls to sew the collection quilt this one also has like bookshelf quilts and things like that so many of these books make me want to start cutting up new fabric and start a new quilt Home for the Harvest, a collection of patchwork and applique. Jean Wells, patchwork quilts made easy. Cut loose quilts, stack, slice, switch, and sew. Books like this are great for new, for beginning improv quilters because you're you're impro improvising the block and not the whole quilt, and so it makes it easier for you to start. A quilter's arc, foundation piecing. Basket Bonanza, 14 quilts from Best Loved Blocks. You'll notice that I have the books in color order. Um, I thought that would be a nice way, since they're all quilting books, a nice way to show them. But I don't really like it because it's hard to find any books when you do that. Um, Donna Cooler's Encyclopedia of Quilting. Firm Foundations Techniques for Quilt Blocks for Precision Piecing. Two books on foundation paper piecing. Scrap patchwork and quilting. It's surprising to me because I don't foundation piece or I haven't done much of it yet. Country Comforts, quilts for casual living. Stash Happy, patchwork quilts. The Quilt Story. Easy applique samplers to mix and match. Twenty little patchwork quilts with full-size templates. Miniature Baltimore album quilts. I might have bought this one. I thought miniature would be easier. And it is not. Miniature Baltimore album quilts will be much harder than the bigger ones. Simple Traditions, 14 quilts to warm up your home. Scrap basket surprises. Best selling bazaar patchwork. Block Magic 2. Block Magic 2. Not sure I pronounced that right. Creative finishing touches with fabric. Pink ribbon quilts. You'll see some of these books have library stamps on them. This one and this one and that one. Um, because I bought them used from the library. Patrick Lou's Christmas. Pink lemonade and other delights. A month of Sundays. Sunday morning quilts. This is a good one also for improv quilts. For beginners. The applique book. I want to make a squirrel quilt one day. You can see there's a squirrel pattern on the cover. Pretty patchwork. Fabric samplers. Cups and saucers. Patchwork Lowe's embroidery. Quilted memories.
Art Deco quilts. Rotary Magic. And the big one, red and white quilts. Look, I fell on the floor. It's called Friendship's Offering Techniques, Inspir Techniques and Inspiration for Writing on Quilts. Okay, done with that row. Let's move on to the next row. Okay, the last row. There's Friendship Offering. Picture this. The Quilt Maker's Gift. Creative quilting, fun and easy scrap quilts, big book of small quilts. We'll do the rest of these pretty quick because our 15 minutes is up. Quilting the savory garden, say it with quilts, sophisticated stitching, playful patchwork, quilts and community, Civil War sewing circle, quilts, quick colorful quilts. Farm Girl Vintage, Mini Quilts, Simply Minnow Quilts, uh, Mini Quilts from Traditional Designs, The Quilter's Companion, Color Splash Quilts, this is Patchwork Minus Math Work, that's a nice one. I like that one for designing quilts because it tells you the sizes to use for block settings. 101 Patchwork Patterns, Luminous Landscapes, Creative Haven Coloring Book, Paper piece mini quilts, quick, colorful, casual, comfy quilts, small talk, bits and pieces, drawing for drafting for the creative quilter, great patchwork, working with triangles, block magic, quilts on the double, the modern medallion, fantasies and flowers, jingle all the way, the art of machine piecing, Sylvia's bridal sampler, McCall's book of needle crafts, beautiful beaded embroidery. Floor quilts, encyclopedia of classic patterns, quilting pieces of the past, simple shapes, spectacular quilts, simple joy of quilting, the classic American book collection, the ultimate quilting book, quilts, 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 the weekend quilter, story quilts and how to make them, dreaming from the journal page, cuddle me quick, cuddle me quick books, paper piecing with Alex Anderson, simply stars, Colorful Stitchery, there's a couple Peacemaker calendars, and the Grandma's Best full-size quilt blocks. And the bottom row has other kind of crafts and repair things, but they're not quilt books. Unfortunately, we do not have this book. So I went through the rest of the shelves over here. There's only one more shelf over here that has quilt books on it. This one. And I, uh, the top shelf is library books, and the rest of them are magazines. So it's not here. I also looked other another bookshelf upstairs. It didn't have the book that I'm looking for. So chances are the book is probably in another box hidden away, or maybe it's stuck with some fabric or something else. So I'll just keep moving on. I'll leave a note in the box to say what book we're looking for and that we haven't found it yet. And that way, next time I pick up this box, I won't duplicate the search again. Sometimes that's just how it works. With the 15 minutes to stitch, you don't make as much progress as you would have hoped, but there is progress, right? Because we know that the book is not on a bookshelf. So this video is part of a series of videos that I'm doing where I show you each of the quilts that I have in, in the works, the UFOs and the works in progress that just haven't been finished for one reason or another, and see if I can't make 15 minutes worth of progress and see what I, how I can keep it from being stalled from the videos I showed you earlier that it really is so much easier to come at the quilt again with a new perspective without being frustrated and I can make a lot of progress and now some of these quilts are no longer stalled and I'm really excited about working on them some more. I hope that you did so along with me while I was looking at these books. If you did just let me know in the comments below what you worked on and how much you got done today in your quilting and I will give you an entry in the drawing. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of your support and I'll see you again tomorrow.